What's going on, guys? It is Aqua's back, bringing you some more Minecraft. And you'll notice some pretty big changes throughout the world already. I haven't built anything. I haven't really done anything major. Uh, what I have done, however, is as you can see, I've made a new diamond um, axe and a new diamond, new diamond shovel or spade, whatever you want to call it. I've also planted a lot of trees, and one of them's already grown. And we have four new friends in a pen right here. And we'll get into that in a minute. Just to show you guys what I have been doing. Nothing major. I promise the only thing that I've really done is move these. Lit up the area quite a bit more. Extended the roof slightly over here. And put this little chest area. This is going to be tree sap. This is just going to be oak tree sapling. So I need to change the sign. This is just going to be seeds. Um, any type of seed doesn't matter what it is uh, this is just going to be our dark oak and birch section here and then these are going to be for I guess cooking uh, except we're going to make that into a different area the kitchen area is going to be somewhere over there after we extend the house just a little bit more uh, just to show you guys the bedroom bedroom hasn't changed anything since last time promise nothing has changed except this glass portion except i might have done this on video i'm not entirely sure um, i did do this off video though this is a separate map that i went out and made um, in a different area uh, over here still hasn't changed the only difference in the area here is that there's this glass hole and i was going to see if i could possibly make a second floor up here um, which i can I probably won't though I might make a watchtower on top of the bedroom but I, I I'm not sure yet um, we'll just have to find out see later on in the series um, but we'll go down here show you guys this area just to prove that this area hasn't changed at all uh, up here still dirt and our one enchantment table and our one bookshelf uh, over here I don't know if I changed this. I know that I did. Ch I don't know how there's a sheep up here, but I did change this office episode. But I did show a couple episodes earlier that I did change this. And I f have no idea what that is. Is that a mushroom? Let's go investigate. I think that's a mushroom over there. It's getting dark though, so we're going to have to come back to the house real quick. But I, I think that this is a mushroom over here. Not entirely sure though. So let's we'll have to go check it out real quick. Um, it's either a lava pit or it's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. Hmm. Whoa, what's this? I have not been over here yet. This is a... Whoa, we found a ravine. We found a ravine, guys. We'll have to go explore that. Some iron and coal all over the place. Some iron right there. Some coal right there. Some gold right there. And there's more gold right there. Wow, we're going to have to go exploring. We're going to have to go explore that in the next in the next episode because we already have something planned for this one. So, uh, I know that I've been saying for a while now that we've got a whole bunch of places to explore, and we do. I just haven't explored them because I'm kind of freaked out to leave this area because I know the second that I leave this area, not having a full map like you do on the 360 version, which is what I'm used to, I'll end up getting lost and I'll never be able to find the house again. Um, but I keep saying that, so I'm going to have to fulfill it at one point or another. And it's good to see that our trees are growing. Um, and I'll talk to you guys about the trees here in a second. Right now, we're just going to go to bed. Sleep till daytime by awesome fountain. I really hate how it's partially blocked off though because of the ceiling, so we might have to do something about that. Like put glass there or something so you can see it through. So, uh, I didn't try entering any commands, I just accidentally pressed the uh, question mark key or the uh, backslash or the forward slash. I mean, no, it's backslash and uh accidentally pressed that key and that's the key to access console commands so i the only way that i knew how to get rid of it was just to backspace and press enter so uh yeah just gonna take a drink um before we get into anything else i wanted to tell you guys that tomorrow i'm going to start my world at war series uh means that i'm going to start going through the world at war campaign um like, actually going through the campaign, we're going to be completing campaign missions and stuff like that on Call of Duty World at War on PC. So, uh, if you guys want to watch that, you can. Just come out. Uh, I'm going to start it tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to live stream it or if I'm just going to play and record it and upload it. Um, but we'll see. So, 
reason that these trees, that these three trees, that one, that one, and that one are going to stay here is because these three trees are like intertwined with each other. And one, they're a pain. Two, I don't want to get rid of them because they're huge and they look really cool. And it looks like this one is going to have to stay as well because it's another humongous tree. And this is probably connected to it, but I'm just going to cut this one down because I need wood. Um... So I guess we have four trees that are just gonna have to stay because they're all intertwined with each other, and I don't want to have to. I don't want to cut them down and get rid of them. I also showed a picture of the huge tree to one of my friends, and he said to just keep the tree because it's aesthetic. So I'll go ahead and keep the three, four trees now, actually, because uh, for all four of them are intertwined. So I'm just gonna have to stop growing trees over here. Uh, so as soon as all these saplings grow, you know those over there, that one, that one, and that one, you know all these over here. I'm just going to stop growing trees there. Um, but uh, what we really need to do is we need to get started on our tree farm. And, uh, which is going to, it's going to be over there somewhere. It's going to be on the other area. Um, but what we actually really need to work on is that we need to start working on a farm. Um, because as you guys know, we need cows for, uh, we need, we need a lot of cow. Um, and I'm not just for food, but for, um, I'm gonna have to make something cool out of this. I'm gonna have to change up this fountain system slightly because I don't really like the way it is. Um, we easy there. Um, I don't really like the way this fountain system is. Uh, I kind of just made it for the moment to upgrade the way the house looks, make it look a little bit nicer. But what we're really gonna have to do is that we actually have to cut out this entire area, flatten it out, and, uh, we're gonna make a farm out of it. Um... We need, we need cow, like, we need to make a cow farm. We don't really need the sheep. Um, and even though it's Minecraft, I still do feel bad killing animals. I don't know why. Um, but, whoa, some, some lag there. Um, we're going to basically level this entire area, and we're going to start making our... Uh, it's going to be a very, very big farm. It's going to have, like, four different sections. Uh, pigs, cows, sheep, and chickens. Because um, we need chickens to make arrows and stuff like that. If and when I decide to start playing on a difficulty. Because as if you guys... If, oh, speaking of pig. Um, this area shouldn't be too difficult to find pigs. I actually had to... I didn't want to record me, um, like, venturing out. Because it would have just been me walking in silence for probably two or three hours finding a cow. Um... Because I kind of just walked in circles around this general area, around where the house is, to try and find a cow. Because for some reason, cows don't spawn in this area. I, I don't know why that is. They just don't. Um, I'm actually going to leave that dirt, that one dirt block right there that that tree is growing on so it can grow. Um, and then as soon as it grows, we'll get rid of it. And I'm going to have to keep that dirt block as well, otherwise the water is going to start going everywhere. But, uh... I didn't record me getting the cow because it would have taken forever. It would have been a couple hours or so of me just not talking, walking around in circles around this area trying to find cow, two cows to to breed. Uh, and as far as I'm aware, cows still do take wheat to to breed. Um, not entirely sure if that's changed or not, because uh, I know chickens or I think pigs need like carrots or something. Um, I'm not sure though. I'll have to figure that out. Because I haven't uh, really made a farm on Minecraft since, like, the 1.6 update on the Xbox. So, uh, we'll have to see. <clears throat> We're going to have to go way farther out in this area, which means that these trees are finally going to get to have a purpose to be cut down. Um, I, sh I just need to go around with, like, a flint and steel or something and just light this entire area on fire. Because I don't like this wood, really. The only thing that I use this wood for is for making charcoal for torches. Um, but basically, every single one of these trees that I cut down, I replant a oak oak tree. Because the oak wood looks better. Uh, I use it more for building. This wood I kind of use for junk stuff, like making sticks and stuff. Um, so that's the only reason that I keep some of this wood. Uh, you know what, that's actually what I think I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and go make a flint and steel, because this is just way too much tree to, like, way too many trees to cut down, way too many trees that I just don't want here, um, 
So we're just gonna go ahead and go make a flint and steel real quick, cause I'm not gonna use this that wood for anything. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. This area that I'm cutting, like off to the right, uh, isn't gonna be touched very much, cause uh, I have other plans for it. The farm is gonna need to go that way as well, so it's gonna be kind of next to the house, but at the same time not next to the house. If that makes any sense. Um, I need to do this though to make the front of the house look just a little bit nicer. Because that just kind of looks gross. I might expand that with something, or I might I might put a, a whole a, like a bigger fountain on this side and just take away the fountain on the other side, because it doesn't necessarily need to be there. Right, flint and steel. That's <laughs> I keep getting distracted with other things. Um, so I should have I don't know where my flint is, or even if I have any. I know that the iron is up here, so we might have to go find some gravel real quick. And I know exactly where some is because I went mining. Uh, about an hour ago before I started recording so uh, we'll go find we'll go all to go down into the mines at level 12 real quick um, because while I was mining I found a huge lava pit or lava lake if that's what you want to call it and you guys will see it here in a minute as long as I go the proper way uh, it's at level 12 actually I think the lava lake is at like level 10 which is the next best mining level for diamonds. So I already have a pathway cut out down on, oh, there's some gravel up there, but I don't feel like, I'm just gonna go down here because I gotta show you guys what else I've made. What in the world is going on here? You can see, oh, the world's just not loaded. Okay, I saw the torches and I just thought the world was crashed or something. So here we are. And the world's not, that's not what I'm talking about, but that's some useful information. Because now I know there's lavas over there, which means that there could be diamond. I have no idea why the world isn't loading. Um, the world was previously loaded. Uh, but this might look a little bit different to you guys, because it's been a while since we've been down here. When I don't record and I play Minecraft, I pretty much just come down here and mine for materials, or try and find materials. Um, I need to make this safer, because this is very dangerous to walk on um but there's this is uh this is pretty new this i uncovered this about an hour ago uh an hour ago of me recording this so it's about like two hours ago for you guys well no about a day but here here's oh i almost walked into this little portion of lava we need to get rid of this and it's really deep too because i can't I can place blocks there, but over here I couldn't place blocks. So, uh, we're going to have to be careful because I already died once. One piece of flint, please. Thank you. There's two pieces of flint. Two for the price of one. And now we can go back up uh, to the overworld where it's safe. And I almost walked into lava just now. Some coal over there. There was a coal depository right here. And I almost fell in the lava because of it. Okay, we can go back up now where it's safe. I hate lava so much in this game. Because it's like, even though you play on a lower difficulty, like peaceful or easy, you still burn so fast. So it's like, oh no, I'll be fine. And then the next thing you know, you're burning to death and all your items are gone. And there we go, Flint Steel. Let's go start a forest fire. I don't know why I did that. But now that this, I'm probably going to come back and my staircase is going to be on fire. It's going to be half gone or something because I did that. And it's already almost nighttime outside. So we'll start the forest fire. Wish the world would load. Well, there's my farm. That's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Come on, load world. We'll just go start this forest fire real quick. And then we'll head inside. And we'll uh, take our rest for the day. 
This is how I burnt my first house down in uh, the Xbox version of Minecraft. I didn't like my house. I wanted to move it. So instead of just tearing it down like a normal person, I just burnt the thing down, took a picture of it, because you could actually post things to Facebook from Xbox. And this was when I was, like, I was young. I was really, I was probably maybe 12 or 13. I don't, I'm not exactly sure when the Minecraft version for Xbox 360 came out. Um, I, all I know is that I was still in middle school at least, so uh, it was a while ago, and I didn't like where my house was. Uh, I wanted to move it to the other side of this lake that I built. Well, I didn't build the lake. The lake was naturally occurring, but I just widened it and uh, like made the bed, made the lake bed or the river bed out of uh, sandstone and like the the walls of the river out of stand sandstone, so everything would look a lot nicer. And uh, I wanted to make my house on the other side because there were, it was a bigger area. It looked better. And, and for some reason, I always have a habit of building my my house and, like, making a settlement and stuff like that in, in this game on the very edge of the world. This was, like, the one exception in Minecraft ever where I m set out to make a house and make a world and stuff like that. And it didn't end up in the middle of... Or not the middle... Oh, well... There's some cooked mutton here, and, uh, some... I'm guessing that a sheep died, so, um... But yeah, it's the first time in a while that I've actually set out to make a Minecraft world, and it wasn't on the edge of the world. Um, so I'm kind of happy about that. But, uh, we still got some trees to burn. This, this would be a perfect, uh, like... Thumbnail for the video. Well, it would have been a perfect thumbnail when everything was still on fire, but things are kind of starting to die down now. If this is going to burn the entire forest down, I can already tell. The entire We're going to turn around and the entire forest is going to be gone. Oh. I'm on fire. Ouch. I think I just walked in the fire again. Where? Quick, where's... Never mind. We don't, we don't need the water now. Ooh, I have to be careful here, though. I'm going to have to get rid of these trees. Otherwise, these uh, these good trees are going to burn. So uh, I'm just going to cut these down for, for safety. Because this is the type of tree that I actually need. So we're going to stop the forest fire here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start cleanup. I'm just going to stay here for a minute. I'm just going to sit right here for a minute, let everything burn this way. So instead of having to take a snapshot of the, of, of this area, it can just be one of the suggested thumbnails in the video. I, like, I guess if it's, you stare at something for a while, you actually get a suggested thumbnail. So we're just going to stand here for a minute and observe. I just took a drink. This is why you don't, this is why you put out your fires, kids. When you go camping, remember to put out your fires, otherwise this happens. Always put out your fires. Unless you're at like a campsite or something, in which case, as long as the fire isn't blazing. Good boy. As long as the fire isn't like, I don't know. Because I've actually gone camping a few times where we just left the fire burning overnight and uh, nothing really happened. We kind of, well, we, it was one thing that was good is that we woke up the next morning and all we had to do was add a little bit more wood to the fire to keep it going. So we're going to go ahead and start the fire up again over here. I think we're nearing a uh, lava lake or a lava pond or something because I can hear like bubbling and popping lava so this flint steel is almost on the way out so I'm kind of I'm the only now the only reason that I'm ouch that I'm uh, setting stuff on fire is because this flint steel is almost on the way out and I just want to get rid of it So tomorrow's Wednesday, guys, just in case you haven't been paying attention in the last week or so. Um, and there goes my flint and steel. I, uh, I have the 
week off basically or i have the weekend off obviously like everybody else does but uh I actually have Thursday and Friday plus Saturday and Sunday like normally off, uh, which means that tomorrow there'll probably be a couple of videos. I might stream. Uh, I haven't decided that yet. Is that really another huge tree? Really, there's three trees that are intertwined here. Why did my keep? Why do my trees keep linking themselves together? It's like Avatar. They keep they just plug their tails into each other. If you guys are old enough to get that reference, leave a like. That was a good movie. I don't. I don't think very many actually. Well, no. I'm pre. I'm sure a lot of people saw that. Hey, look, that's my storage room. You can see it through the world. We'll turn our back. We'll walk away, and that'll be gone. Like the world's not loaded over there either. Oh, now it's loaded because I looked at it. All right, let's walk away real quick. Oh, I was fully expecting it to just disappear. Um, but we actually need to. I'm deciding if I want to put the farm up here. Or if I want to continue over here. Actually, this area looks so much nicer now, though, because of all the trees are gone. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is I don't want to put it over here because that's where the house is probably going to be expanded to. And this, as soon as I was going to say this tree isn't going to grow, I'm just going to knock its sapling out. It grew. So that block can finally get out of the way. And what we really need to do is we need to start uh, leveling out this area, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to get rid of this naturally occurring pond because naturally occurring ponds are always great, um, but we're going to have to because this is where I'm guessing that a pig drowned here. How do you drown in one block of water? So we've had a sheep kill itself on our forest fire and we've had a pig drown itself. Is this, that's, things are getting creepy in this Minecraft world. Animals committing suicide everywhere. Okay, wow, it's deep over here would be understandable because this is like too deep three deep in places and I'm a lot of dirt So you might have to do a lot of filling in in areas this so that's the one time the dirt is actually useful And I actually like the way gravel looks on this texture pack. So we might be using gravel for like for uh, pathways and stuff and well so we might be using gravel for pathways. I'm not sure yet. Pro we probably will because, like I said, I like the way it looks in this texture pack. Um, I think gravel and vanilla Minecraft, just it looks terrible. And it's still burning. It's not burning over there, but we have quite a bit of cleanup to do now. Um, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this section here. And this section we'll, we'll probably get rid of all the way. And we're at almost almost 25 minutes. So we're going to have to cut the episode off here. I, I really got to start paying attention to my recordings. But hey, let's uh, before we end the episode, let's get an aerial view of what everything looks like now. We'll go on top of my house and, uh, and look. Uh, this world's just... The, the face of this area changed just now drastically. Like, big time changed. Um... Just one forest fire changed the entire face of what this area looks like. So let's go on top of the house. We won't go all the way up there. We'll just go right here and block upwards. I guess I could have entered creative mode. That probably would have made things a lot easier, but whatever. And the face of this world. Hold on. I wonder if I can change my render distance real quick. Um, render distance. It should be in video settings. Render distance. We'll just turn that up. Hopefully it doesn't cause lag. Meh. Not really. Now we just have to wait for our chunks to load. If they don't load, then... It's probably lagging because the chunks aren't loading. But, uh... I actually like that. I wonder if I can keep it on these settings to, uh, I don't really notice a difference in the frames. Oh, guys, uh, but yeah, I, I, this world's looking a lot better. We need, really need to get rid of the trees over the sea. This world, we haven't even really gone adventuring yet, and this, this world is already extremely impressive. We need to get rid of those trees there, those up there, there. We need to get rid of all these trees, 
and start planting all of these trees. Um, I know you guys might have been like, if you don't like the trees and you don't like the biome, then why wouldn't you just move areas? It's because I really like the way this area looks. Like, look at it. It's beautiful. The only problem is all these trees. I don't like that type of tree. Um, but I'm glad that I picked this area because, look, we have so many caves to explore. That cave and th that cave, those two caves are probably intertwined somehow. Um, we've got the mine to work on. There's a ravine over there. There's a ravine way over there. Um, there's probably more caves over there. We've got that beautiful area that we can see now because our chunks are, are loading a lot farther away now. Uh, we can actually see the mushroom from here. Um, I've said this a couple of times in multiple episodes, but, uh, this series, as long as it, as, as I keep doing it and you guys keep watching, which I hope you do because I really enjoy making this series. We're going to be building and making so much stuff that it's going to be absolutely insane. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. What in the hell? Okay. Apparently there's just a random opening and this block needs to be there. So we'll do this to make it look better from the top side. But what a better way to end the episode than at night when we can go to sleep through the convenient glass hole. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Um, I think today's episode or yesterday's episode went up kind of late. Um, that's because I just forgot to uh, edit it. And I actually had to edit it while I was in school today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like on the video. If you did, in fact, enjoy, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. And finally, guys... Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more daily videos. Sometimes it's not daily, but most of the time that it is. And keep in mind, tomorrow is the start of my new uh, probably 20-part series uh, where we go through the Call of Duty World at War campaign and we beat it on probably normal difficulty because veteran is going to take way too long. It's going to be way too frustrating. So tune in for that tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's been Akas, guys. Hope you all had a wonderful night. I'll catch you guys later.